the past few months, I've noticed that Pound World has been selling these selfie remotes. Yes, for just one pound. And you turn them over, it says here, simply connect to device via Bluetooth. A Bluetooth device for just one pound. So I wonder how they do it. Let's just take a look. So it looks a lot like one of those more expensive Bluetooth triggers that you see costing several times more than just one pound. You also get a free spare battery. It already has one here. So let's try to see how it works. Look for X camera and on the App Store Snap Remote. Now if we look for X camera, Snap Remote comes up on top. There is an X camera, but these X cameras are not selfie apps, so it's not referring to this. This is a photo management. This is connect via Wi Fi, not Bluetooth. Magic Trick Tools. Can't be that one. It must be Snap Remote, so that's one thing that's incorrect. Let's install. Ah, now what do you notice? Or more correctly, what do you not notice? It's asking for permissions for media files, camera, obviously, microphone, but no Bluetooth. Look for one that specifically needs Bluetooth. This one here specifically asks for Bluetooth connection information. But Snap Remote doesn't ask for this. Let's install it. The app is now installed. Let's launch it. Let's turn this on. There's a small little switch here. Let's see what, what happens. That flips the camera around. It's taken a picture, so it works, but it doesn't seem to be using Bluetooth. So, so Bluetooth is off here. Let's just make sure Wi-Fi is off. Just to be doubly sure, turn airplane mode on. Okay, flip the camera around. And yep, yeah, it still works. So let's see how this works. And that's what's inside. Two buttons. Small LED, crystal oscillator, and a small chip. And this is what I believe makes that sound every time you push one of the buttons, plus a switch. Noticeably absent is any sign of a Bluetooth antenna or anything wireless like that. In order to find out what exactly this chip is doing, I think I'll remove it from the board. I'm going to use the same cheap Chinese solder that was probably used to put this board together. So, just a moment. I just need to clean the pins up. There we go, it looks pretty clean. Let's hope the heat hasn't destroyed it. So I've looked at the components on this board and I've attempted to reproduce them in breadboard form. This needs a power supply and a way to hook up this chip to this breadboard using some old connectors. I, I pulled these pins off 
and with pound sharp resin um, attach them to this wooden domino that happens to be almost the exact width of that. So now all I have to do is put them in here apply some pressure to, to make sure that there's good electrical contact. The board is now powered up Launch the same app on the phone. Let's see what happens. Uh -huh. So that's the flip button. Just flips the cameras around. Took a while, but it did eventually take the picture. So there's nothing on here that is doing any sort of wireless stuff. It's because these components aren't doing Bluetooth and they're not doing any radio frequency transmissions. I'm actually going to swap this 12 megahertz crystal for this much slower 4 megahertz. Now emitting sounds at one third the speed. And the app still works. Now if I try this without any sound. Nothing. And finally, let's see if we, we can capture the sound that this makes and play back a recording to trigger the, uh, the app. absolutely no reaction. So my dictaphone doesn't work to reproduce the sound to a quality that will actually allow the, act, the app to trigger. However, I've seen uh, videos on YouTube where they've managed to re record this using the uh, PC sound cards and playing it back through the uh, better um, speaker system. And although it wasn't reliable, they did manage to get the app to respond. So there's something about uh, piezo transducers that this isn't capturing and that this is able to sense. What was impressive is that changing the, the clock chip, uh, this was still able to work. Let's try six megahertz. So in conclusion, Poundworld is selling a one pound selfie device capable of, uh, well, equipped with air gap jumping technology. That's the sort of stuff that uh, the spies use in order to um, communicate or steal data from networks that have been cut off, a bit like how this phone is now set up, where the um, it's it's now in air, airplane mode with the Wi-Fi turned off, the Bluetooth turned off, the, the cell phone turned off, and in, yet this chip is still able to communicate with it.
Oh, and however, the box here is lying. So that's deceptive marketing right there. I thought I would try this again, but with the the slower clock chip, so that all the frequencies are one third of what they should be. Since we know that this app is still able to recognize them and then set my voice recorder to its highest quality setting and see if I can trigger it with just audio. So it's now recording. Let's try a playback and see how the app responds. That's pretty conclusive. It means that all the communications between this or what this selfie device used to be happens entirely in audio. There's no nothing else magical happening with this chip. So this chip is probably just a common uh, PIC12 uh, style one-time programming chip. And, uh, it's certainly, the pinout is certainly consistent with that.